I want to take a moment, sadly, to remember a member of our NBC4 family. We're talking Doug Adair, a longtime news anchor who died just yesterday. He was 89 years old. Yeah, Doug Adair worked here at NBC4 in the 1980s and 90s and for a time shared the NBC4 anchor desk with our Colleen Marshall. Colleen. And I learned so much from him. Doug Adair was really a broadcast pioneer, an Emmy Award winner, a Korean War veteran who graduated from Northwestern University and started his broadcast career in Dayton. He also worked at WJW and WKYC in Cleveland and was a news veteran before he ever came here to WCMH in 1983. He was the driving force in the Doug and Mona, Jimmy and Jim team, co-anchoring with his then wife, Mona Scott. They really made NBC4 the place for local news. He later anchored with Angela Pace and then both Gail Hogan and I had the opportunity to share the anchor desk with him. In fact, um, I anchored with him for three years before his retirement in 1994. He was a member of the Ohio Broadcasters Hall of Fame. He was an incredible broadcast writer, an old school newsman who interviewed Robert Kennedy, Martin Luther King Jr. He spearheaded many, many charitable campaigns and he died one month before his 90th birthday after living with Alzheimer's for a number of years. He survived by his now wife, Jean, two sons, a daughter, five grandchildren, and eight great-grandchildren. And I know this was before your time, but when Doug and Mona came into the Columbus news market, they really made a mark. They kind of changed the tone of broadcast news here. They had more of an upbeat, kind of a young And a warm chemistry. I remember right, watching them while right. I was a student at Ohio State University. Really it was did. like the Doug and Mona show. That's what, yeah. I mean, whether you knew them or not, out from outside of the studio, they invited you in, mm -hmm. into their homes, yeah. into their lives. Every he always day. had such a respect for the audience. I mean, I, I learned so much from him about, you know, always remember that you are sharing important information mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. people and always look for stories that, that impact people's lives. He was, mm -hmm. he was a great broadcast journalist. And, th and this morning, Al Roker also worked with him in WKYC, right, in also sending out a message of condolences to his family as well, right? Yeah, he worked with a lot of ve uh, veterans. He also worked with Tim Conway. Tim Conway mm. was his director in Cleveland. From the oh, Carol wow. Burnett Show, really? From the Carol Burnett oh, wow. Show, yeah. Oh. It's and amazing, that was the first thing you said to me. His roommate was some in. Hollywood anchor at Northwestern. I can't, I mean, a Hollywood star, I'll, I'll rem if I remember it, I'll put it on Facebook, because wow. they used to tell me, I roomed with him. Yeah, yeah he, was, he was a great, great guy and really he'll be sadly missing and he as you and I have both been through this he had Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's. so yeah, yeah. Well, thank God for the memories though yeah. we yep. have the memories yep so we sure do yeah, yeah. Colleen thanks